Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Breakfast Biscuit. It is Monday, June the 19th, uh, 2023 at, yes, you guessed at 6.05 a.m. And this morning, we will return to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, uh, beginning at verse 25, a little longer passage of scripture than we usually use on the Breakfast Biscuit, but it's for a reason. And the reason is this. The title of this morning's Breakfast Biscuit is Charlatans, C-H-A-R-L-A-T-A-N-S charlatans <clears throat> you've probably heard that word used before but you may be a little fuzzy on exactly what it means well i took the opportunity on the old interwebs uh, to look that up for you and to give you the dictionary definition of charlatan a charlatan is a person falsely claiming to have a special knowledge or skill a fraud okay so it's not just a fraud it's a fraud uh, where a person falsely claims to have a special knowledge or skill, which would lead us to lend this word's usage many times uh, to religious people or to religious leaders. So, concerning the word charlatan, let's look in verse 25 and see what Jeremiah has to say about the false prophets of his day and our day. There have always been false prophets, as long as the Lord tarries, there will be false prophets. And there are, right now, false prophets all over the place. So listen to what Jeremiah has to say about them. I have heard these prophets say, speaking of the false prophets, listen to the dream I had from God last night. And then they proceed to tell lies in my name. How long will this go on? If they are prophets, they are prophets of deceit. Inventing everything they say. By telling these false dreams, they are trying to get my people to forget me, just as their ancestors did by worshiping the idols of Baal. Let these false prophets tell their dreams, but let my true messengers faithfully proclaim my every word. There is a difference between straw and grain. Does not my word burn like fire, says the Lord? Is it not like a mighty hammer that smashes a rock to pieces? This next paragraph, last paragraph from the scripture for today, is so powerful and so pointed. Please hear it. Therefore, says the Lord, I am against these prophets who steal messages from each other and claim they are from me. I am against these smooth-tongued prophets who say, this prophecy is from the Lord. I am against these false prophets. Their imaginary dreams are flagrant lies that lead my people into sin. I did not send or appoint them, and they have no message at all for my people. I, the Lord, have spoken. So if you're not familiar with the biblical term for prophet, in the Old Testament, the word for prophet is navi, kind of a N A. Uh, Baith is the Hebrew word, but it has kind of a B, kind of a V sound, my V. Do you know what the word prophet literally means in Hebrew? It means one who bubbles over or overflows, meaning that the spirit of the living God is upon him and that it is welling up to get out. And this vibrant, fresh relationship with God, where God speaks to them to the point where they can no longer hold it. And it has to overflow out onto the people and into the people. That's what a true prophet is. And ladies and gentlemen, you may not be aware of this, but concerning uh, what is said here about prophets who steal messages from each other, the president of the Southern Baptist Convention two years ago got busted for taking J.D. Greer's sermons and repeating them word for word. Not for a week, not for a month but for months at a time. There is a sermon website now called sermons.com, Sermon Central, etc., etc. Really? If you're so full of the Spirit that you're bubbling over, overflowing with what God says to you, do you really need that? There are times when pastor search committees ask me what I, they should be looking for. Number one, I always call the previous pastor and ask him what his opinions are. But number two, Put the guy that you're interviewing in a room with nothing but a Bible and a legal pad and a pen and tell him he has one hour to come up with four skeletal outlines for a sermon series. If he can do it, 
great if he can't do it. He's not your guy. The true prophet, the true spokesman, the true pastor, the true preacher of God's word has a vibrant relationship with God, and that relationship wells up within him and overflows out onto the people. Nobody can preach happy, good news all the time. It's not the biblical message. Jesus preached his whole ministry to pull people away from a catastrophic end that he was warning them about, inviting them to flee the coming wrath and to re-enter the kingdom of God by his grace. Where is that part of the message these days? Ask yourself that question. And let's find out. Let me pray for you. God, we thank you today for telling us the truth about things that are at times hard to hear. God, we pray in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus that we would be true followers, true spokespersons, true representatives, true evangelists, and true witnesses for the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, help us to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us, God, for your glory and for the blessing of your people. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.